guys, my name is Iman, or Dancing in Circles. I'm a full-time performer and studio owner here in Toronto, um, and I do tutorials on pole, aerial hoop, and lollipop lira. I'm going to be covering one of my favorite top bar moves on the lolly today. So we're going to be talking about walking person on the top. Make sure you don't have a fear of heights and you're totally comfortable going up to the top before attempting this trick. And without further ado, let's get into it. Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite top bar tricks on the lollipop lira. This is an intermediate trick because obviously you're required to go all the way up to the top so you should be over your fear of heights on your lolly. Um, this is also kind of a more exclusive to lollipop lira trick. You can do this on a hanging hoop but it doesn't really look the same and the entry is totally different. Um, this is one of my favorite tricks to do in performance because it's super secure and it's also really impressive. So um, let's get into it. <laughs> so to start, I'm going to get into the hoop however you'd like um, and we're going to start in a seated position. From here, I'm going to bring my hands slightly wider than shoulder distance. I'm going to drop into the backs of the knees and then I'm going to bring my feet on to the bottom bar and I'm going to stand up. From here what I like to do is I like to flip my grip so that my thumbs are facing down. So I like to slide my hands down here and then from here you can kind of just hang out and you can like stand here. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the leg that's going to be my back leg. So I like my left leg to be the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift that leg bring it over the top bar and I'm going to get it into like as high up as I can so it's in like the fleshy bit of my thigh almost like at the crease of my butt cheek and then from here I'm going to bring the foot and I'm going to hook it over to the opposite side of the hoop. Notice that my hand came off and I can reach around so we're gonna come here and then I'm going to bring that leg over I'm going to take this hand off and dodge around and grab behind and then I'm going to hook the foot over to the opposite side. So from here what I can do is I can push up to stand up and then I'm going to turn to face the direction of my front leg. So I'm going to do a little push up into the arms and then I'm going to extend this back leg so I'm going to straighten it out. Now my front leg, my hip is over behind the hoop right now. And my leg, so my foot is going to go to the opposite side so that I can counter my weight. So from here, my foot is all, almost like pretty much set up. So it's going to go to the opposite side of the hoop than my hips. And then from here, I'm gonna stand up. So I'm gonna straighten out both my legs, squeeze my thighs together, and I'm turning my chest to face that front leg. From here, if you feel secure, I usually recommend taking the front hand off first. Um, if you feel really comfortable and solid, you're squeezing your thighs together and stuff, you can obviously take both hands off. You've got this beautiful little uh, I'm a cake ornament shape, <laughs> if that makes sense, or an angel on the top of the tree or something like that, and you can take both hands off and play around with it, right? So from here to come out of it, I'm going to bring that front leg down to the bottom bar first and then I'm going to bend that back leg and my chest is going to turn so it's facing the same direction as the hoop and then I'm going to unravel this leg, send it back and I'll land back in this standing position. From here you can obviously sit back down, maybe continue your combo and that's your walking person. <laughs> 